Hey guys, RatTV here, um, and today I'm going to be talking about a lot of new stuff. Um, I'm going to be talking about things like Jet, how it's a new class. It's definitely a new class. Um, if you guys looked at the update highlights for the uh, new thing, it does show Jet as a new character, so it is definitely a new character. Uh, the new Korean Maple Story class is going to be coming out, uh, Luminous, I'm going to be talking about him a lot. I'm going to be talking about also how they're nerfing Phantom. They are definitely nerfing him, and it doesn't look good. Uh, there's going to be a new job advancement system. I'm going to kind of hold off on that for a bit. And that's about all I'm going to do. Um, but anyway, Jet. New class. Yes, it is definitely a new class. It looks like it in update highlights. There's really not much to say about that. But it does actually look fairly interesting. I haven't, you know, no one has actually seen anything on that. However, it does appear to be a new class. Um, the new Korean Maple Story class. Um, it's called Luminous. It is a mage. It is a new mage, uh, which interests me because there are a ton of mages in Maple Story already. And there's been some talk that it's actually a hero. Um, whether it's a hero or not is... I don't know, but if it is a hero, that means there's no pirate hero. There's already been four heroes. They are Aaron, Evan, um, Mercedes, and Phantom. Um, but if this is a new... And they're all the original four classes. They are all different classes, moreover. Um, and to have another mage hero is kind of weird. I mean, I'd, I'd expect there to be a uh, pirate hero, but uh, I have no control over it. So, right now, I'm, I'm kind of just doing a quest, and I these things are not spawning. I'm looking for the Tirus, and they're not here. So, let me move on. <laughs> um, other new stuff. They are nerfing Phantom. They are definitely nerfing him, and it really, it doesn't look good. There are, uh, there are a lot of uh, weapon adjust. There are a lot of attack adjustments, damage adjustments for a lot of the skills. Um, and they also nerfed, this is the biggest nerf of all of them, they are nerfing Talon of the Phantom Thief. They are taking, they are making it so that, uh, attacks, any, any attacks that you do, which really is not useful at all, um, they do, they are not based on your Kane's weapon attack, or, or your weapon attack in general. Oh, that's not true. They are, they are not affected by your Kane. They're not affected by your Kane's weapon attack, which is interesting. I mean, I get a lot of power from my uh, Phantom. I mean, there's a new skill for pirates. It's it's kind of a, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it, it's like you your your dude pulls out a double barrel shotgun and shoots people, and that's all it does. It does two hits for like I don't know 300 and some percent damage each, but that's beside the point. I do like fifteen to eighteen thousand damage each hit with that, so that's not going to be the case anymore. It's going to be a lot lower because it's not based on my Kane's weapon attack, which is ninety-eight, maybe uh, somewhere around there. But the bigger, the bigger thing in this is the fact that all buffs, the duration for all buffs stolen by Talon of the Phantom Thief, are decreased by forty percent. That means if it's a 200 second buff, it's not 200 seconds anymore, it, it would be 120 seconds. So you, they're, they're chopping off a big chunk of uh, time there. So you're going to be buffing a lot more, that's going to use a lot more MP. Um, the other thing, this is probably one of the biggest things that I have today. And that would be the new job advancement system. And now, it's not really a system, it's moreover, they changed the levels in which you need to uh, attain to job advance. The new levels, the first two are, uh, remain unchanged, they're 10 and 30. But, they definitely put, took a big chunk off of the, ne the next two. Um, the next one, third job advancement would be level 60. And then fourth job is level 100. So you're taking a big chunk off of um, the off of the number of levels needed to uh, get a job advancement. So that means there's going to be a lot more fourth jobs, and it's not going to be as impressive to be a fourth job as it used to be. 
but that also means that you get more SP for fourth job, but also less for the rest of them. I'm not entirely sure how that's gonna go. I mean, they might they might switch some skills around, but I don't I don't really know. Um, it also means that fourth job is a lot closer for my fandom, so I'm definitely going to be releasing a fourth job as part of the fandom adventures because it's just that close. Um, the only two classes that this does not relate to are Evan and Knights of Cygnus, uh, Cygnus, Cygnus Knights, whatever you want to call them. They're called the Knights of Cygnus in Korean Maple Story. That's why I call them that. Um, they're also abbreviated. If you see people running around saying KOC, yeah, that's that's Knights of Cygnus. Cygnus. That's not Cygnus Knights. It's, they're technically the same thing, but it's just a rearranging of the wording. But that's beside the point. Um, I'm going to give a little bit more information on uh, the new character in Korean Maple Story. Um, I'm going to start with what it actually is. It is, as far as we can tell, it's a new mage hero. Um, as well as it being... Um, it's kind of hard to explain. It is a mage that deals with light magic and dark magic and you get kind of this UI that shows like between light and dark magic and it you know it's it's just kind of this UI that um, every time you use light skills uh, the, you have specific light and dark skills and they're very 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 distinct from each other so there will be no trouble with confusing is this a light skill or a dark skill uh, buffs don't count by the way every time you use light skills your dar your UI will become darker, which will then transition into full dark mode. And while in full dark mode, all dark skills will have a 50% uh, damage increase. And as you use more dark skills, your uh, UI will become lighter. And the same goes for the light skills. Once once that becomes full light, um, that you do 50% more damage with. Um, light skills. But there's also a point in between the two. This is attained at level 30, by the way. Um, there's also a point in between the two that's called Equilibrium. And during Equilibrium, there are two skills that you can use. Uh, one of them is Death Scythe, which I'm not entirely sure what it is. Uh, but the other one is a little bit more important. It's called Absolute Kill. And as the name entails, it instantly kills an enemy instantaneously there's no ifs hows or whys whatever you, whatever that is um yeah that's that's pretty much all i have on that that's all i can remember i can there's other than that there's really nothing different from a normal mage you do get magic guard normal magic guard that's not like the nerf the nerfy we'll see uh evan magic guard it is a normal magic guard um at 85% goes to mana. Magic card. That's how it is. Um, it definitely does have a lot of mana. I looked at that. And I. It is going to be released soon. As far as I can tell. They have Tespia for it. They have they have a Korean Maple Story Tespia. Or a KMST for it. Um, I did watch a few live streams on that. Um... Which it, it does it does look promising. I mean, it, it looks like it um looks like it's it's gonna be good. But anyway, I'm gonna see if I'm done this quest yet. Um, I can't tell. It's weird. I'm probably done this quest. I'm just kind of mindlessly grinding right now. Um, yeah, I'm done it. But anyway, um, that's about it on Luminous. There's really nothing more I can talk about with that. Um, other than the fact that it will be released soon, I will be doing a video series on it. Um, you know, I'm just going to talk about this. There, as we all know, there will be Phantom and Global Maple Story soon. And yes, I am in fact doing an event for that. Um, I've decided it, it is going to be on the day of release. Um, I have yet to decide when. Um, on the day of release, it's probably going to be later in the day. Actually, it might be earlier in the day, depending 
it just kind of depends on what I'm what I want to do. Um, it is summer, so I have all the time in the friggin' world to do whatever. Um, which means, obviously, I'm going to be posting more videos. I think I mentioned that earlier. Um, I might be talking really fast. Um, I just I just thought about that. I, I think I'm talking really fast for a video. Despite. Um, it is going to be in... It is going to be another part of an event. Like, it, it's going to be featuring another event, which is the world link. Between... Chaos, Yelland, Mardia, and the other world, Cradia, I think it is. I, I'm not entirely sure which which one it is. But anyway, it's going to be in, it's going to be in those worlds. Um, you can be in any of those four worlds; it doesn't matter. Um, but I'd advise. All right. So here's the scoop on these new worlds. The way the worlds work, as linked, there are certain things that you can and can't with it. Um, the first being link skills. Um, any link skills that you have, examples, Blessing of the Fairy, Empress's Blessing, any other link skills that you have on um, on that, I th I'm not entirely sure about the Legends link skills, but I do know that things like Blessing of the Fairy do transfer between worlds. However, items um, that you put into the uh, storage do not transfer. They You have to stay on that world. Money, you can't transfer that unless you have an outside source, which is another person or another account to transfer. Which means that secondary accounts that people have that people don't really use are going to be a lot more useful in those four worlds. Anyway, that's that's about it. On the benefits, you get to see other people um, in the four worlds, which is kind of cool because um, if I bring up the buddy window here, um, when you when you put your cursor over, this is actually not planned at all. I didn't plan on talking about this, but anyway, when you put your cursor over a friend, it'll say, and they're online. They have to be online to do this. Um, it will say. Uh, yeah. Oh, look, I just leveled twice. Um, it'll say the world that they're in and the channel that they're in. The world part will actually kind of have a use now, even though it really doesn't matter. It still has, it will still tell them what world they made their character in, which is kind of cool. Anyway, um, I'm, I think I'm just going to, no, I, I can't assign this yet. Uh, hopefully that won't matter. If someone could tell me what exactly happens, because right now it doesn't seem like there's a use to um, this, to the, what was I talking about? I did this a lot. Like I said, I didn't plan any of the text that I'm, you know, that I'm saying right now. Saying text is kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, um... If someone could tell me the effect of job advancing after the required level, like what exactly that does, because right now it doesn't look like there's an actual um, effect to that. My best guess, since it doesn't actually take out on your SP, my best guess is that it takes out on your AP, and if it does that, then that's bad. <laughs> that's very bad. It's, it's, yeah, right now it's just six points, but yeah. So anyway, I'm just going to kind of job advance, and I'm going to leave it off on that. Oop, wrong button. Um, so yeah, that's just about it. Um, again, this is one thing that I want to strangle Nexon over, is the fact that this gives one to every stat, which is stupid, because now you can't accurately assign your, a your AP. So I need to be... 16 in strength. So now you have to do this manually for the first time. Not at, not necessarily for the first time. You have to you have to assign all this stuff manually, for the most part. Um, but other than that, you 
know. It's kind of basic. Well, at least I get to put a few new points in Archery Mastery, which is nice. Um, I love this skill. This is just, this was such a good idea. To add this, to make this skill into first job and just put them all into one skill was a great idea. And this, it was a great idea. That was jump, though. That was way back when. That was uh, Ascension for GMS. But they call it jump in uh, KMS. The other thing that's hilarious is the fact that there's going to be a new coin system coming when this new uh, the Renegades update actually takes shape. And that would be the coin the we called them in my earlier Phantom videos you're gonna notice that I do have justice coins which are those coins. They call them Renegade coins. So the big J on the front of them on the front of the coins makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> oh my god, it's it's so funny. Um, that about ends it off right there. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Favorite, favorite, subscribe, favorite, favorite, comment, comment, comment. Subscribe, like, 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 like. Uh, thanks guys, and I will see you later. Stay chill.